Concussion is basically injury to the brain. What we also call it as a mild, mild traumatic brain injury. So that can happen because of any kind of a small subtle hit to the brain, sudden jerk to the brain. So as as uh, heavy as you hit your head against something or something hit against you, so that will lead to trauma to the brain, which is called concussion. It depends on the severity of the injury. In concussion, patient may may have as mild as symptom as he may, he may feel little giddy. Uh, he may feel little confused, he may feel little disoriented, disoriented. to a greater extent he may lose consciousness transiently then he may become fully fine. Concussion will appear as early as immediately after injury. I give an example, you know, somebody is sitting on a stool and falls down and hits his head against, against the floor and he becomes unconscious there and then. And he gains uh, consciousness within a minute or two. He feels little giddy. He will have a headache. He may feel little nauseative. He may feel that there is a blurring of vision, and within few minutes he feels fine. So these are all symptoms of concussion. And uh, but concussion should not be neglected, especially in elderly people, because a subtle symptom which may mimic like concussion, but actually may have a significant brain injury. Because there is a lot of space in the brain around uh, in, the, in the in the skull around the brain, so small injury can sometimes give a bigger impact in them. So, you know, see, elderly people will complain that they have a headache, vomiting, or nausea, or they are not feeling well, or they are feeling confused. What are the common symptoms in concussion? Why children may not complain that? So the only symptom in the children may be change in behavior. Child may refuse to feed. They may be looking a little confused or irritable. So a subtle symptom, which which will tell you there is something wrong. First of all, our major worry when somebody comes to you me with this symptom is, is there a serious head injury? So they should, after examination, if required, they may undergo a CT scan or MRI. That will rule out practically a major brain injury. If there is a minor brain injury, usually we prescribe some uh, simple medication for for pain or nausea or vomiting, and patient should be observed for at least 24 hours. Whether the patient requires a hospitalization or not will depend on the age of the patient, type of injury, what are the changes in the brain which are the, which they are showing. That will decide whether the patient requires a close monitoring in the hospital or patient can stay home and come back to the hospital if required. It depends on the severity. Sometimes patient will have a. Uh, I give you a very simple example. You while you are walking and you hit a lamp post, so you may feel little giddy, and then you are fine. So that doesn't require anything. Other person may have a serious injury in the brain, but they may manifest little after some time. The common example is in elderly people, a subtle injury, which could be as subtle as head shake, can give rise to subdural hematoma. Subdural hematoma is a bleeding along the membranes of the brain and that is usually has to be treated very fast. If there is a little more severe brain, for example, there is a small bleeding in the brain that will subside, it will not produce any symptom or uh, there is a tissue injury to the brain which may not produce any symptom at that point of time, it can give rise to epileptic like seizures later on. So that is a long term complication. We also know people who have repeated kind of these episodes, best example, boxers. They get this punch, what do you call it, punch dunk syndrome. And also people who take alcohol, they fall here and there, they hit their head. They develop other type of symptoms, like they may have a cognitive involvement in the form, they lose memory over the period of time. They will develop features like Parkinson's disease. So these are uncommon long-term complications.